that we know we can manage and treat. So maybe you can address that uh, while you answer the last questions. Okay. Here's what I'll tell you. That's a big topic for another program. So I'll give you the topic. Faith, foolishness, and presumption. Hmm. Okay? I have a, faith, a bishop as a producer. Faith, yes, foolishness. faith foolishness, and presumption. And, and presum before we get to that program, there's a book written by Frederick Casey Price, Faith, Foolishness, and Presumption. Read that book. Okay. We we'll give you. But, um, yes, absolutely. As a physician, I can tell you there is a lot of damages being done right now to people's lives by so-called faith preachers. And I am the first to tell you, as a, a doctor, I am absolutely upset about the effect of some of these things now. Um, there's so much of denial. Um, you have people who won't check their blood pressure. And when you come to the, when they come to my clinic, I check it. And their blood pressure is 200 and something over 120. What do you think comes out from their mouth? Blood of Jesus. <laughs> I, I refuse it in Jesus' name. I reject it. In Jesus name. <laughs> I reject it. Okay. Blood of Jesus. I reject it in Jesus' name. The guy is going to have a stroke next week. And before you know it, he's either paralyzed or he dies. Why? Because he went to a program, somebody told him, uh, throw away all your medicine. But you know what I tell people? Believe it, I, I love faith. And I, I am a strong believer in faith. I'm a word of faith guy. But I, Dr. Damages, I just took my, my I'm not the pin. <laughs> I just took it this morning <laughs> with uh, my Losata. And I'm careful to tell people. I don't like to lie to people. You're wearing glasses now, Dr. Damages, right? I wasn't wearing it some years back. You don't have faith. That's why you're, you're still wearing glasses, you know? How can you be wearing glasses? Now, now, now without it, you look, I can see three of you on this screen. <laughs> I don't know which so, one is talking. And so what I sometimes look at, when I look at the people who tell somebody, throw away your medicine, sometimes the preacher who is telling you he's wearing glasses, so you see, you see, sometimes, my, my brother, on one side, Dan, I agree with you, there has been a lot of manipulation of people, but that also, in everything, there's abuse. But abuse does not completely eradicate the right thing. The true, there's still the right thing. But there are people who, of course, abuse it. Um, the church in Nigeria, let me tell you, my brother, if the people in Nigeria don't go to church the way they are going, I don't know what, how they would have survived. Have you been to Nigeria recently? You ask yourself, how do people survive in this country? But uh, this... So, that, for me, I don't really blame. Uh, let me tell. I'm a, a little bit uh, on the other side of the fence. If you what went is... to, if you stay in Nigeria and go to church, because you will go to church more than them, all, because some of them, the only <laughs> thing they can, the only, the only thing that they survive, that the only place they can survive is church. Because you have no salary to eat. I mean, you have not. I mean, you are talking about going to a doctor. It's not who has medicine that will go to doctor. You go to the hospital, they say, make you drop deposit. How much is deposit? But, say, but, but Bishop, is that not the problem why Nigeria is, is on the floor? Because the religious people keep giving us this false hope. Instead of telling them to do, to at least protest for their liberty. They tell you, don't worry. Like you are saying, God will, God will come down. And God never came down. God comes, he still comes down. 